St. Bernadette's is a very diverse community. We are home to multi-generational families. We have families who the parents were founders of this parish 70 years ago and their children are parishioners and their children's children are parishioners. The, uh, the parish had already been the home of the Native American ministry, the St. Kateri community. And then I brought with me when I came, I have worked with the deaf community all of my priesthood for uh, many years and so they came with me. The thing that ties all of these family members together under this roof is that St. Bernadette's has a vision. And that vision is to aspire to be a community that whoever walks through those doors and enters this space experiences the gospel of mercy. I'm a musician. I've always believed that music is the transcendent language. And it does tap into emotions that people cannot verbalize, but they can sing it. Our goal is an experience of Christ, you know, an experience of the presence of God. And, and a big and important part of that is music. Of course, music stirs the soul. Music is one of these things that, that really does move your heart and, and create uh, that experience. And, and that's, you know, part of the great mystery of, of music in our lives is how these things bring people together. So one might ask, how could the deaf community possibly engage in music? We are fortunate at St. Bernadette's to have beautiful interpreters. They are musical in their interpretation, which brings the music part of it alive. The lyrics of the songs, the hymns, still translate. So there is still a fullness of participation with the music. I really think the deaf community has a unique way of approaching God in worship because it's rooted in the deaf community. It's a community. They're anchored together. When you're interpreting music, there's more of like a theatrical sense to show the emotions and feelings because from an interpreter's perspective, you have to set up your space. And the nice thing about sign language it gives you that ability to do that, to leave a place for Jesus and his life story. We try to use various markers on the success once the service is over. First thing you look for is a smile on their face. You hear them whistling, you hear them singing, humming, talking about the words of a particular song. Music is an integral part of the identity of this parish, and they are unified as one voice. And we become enmeshed and connected through that gift of music. Jesus said to his disciples, come to me, all you who labor and are burdened, and I will give you rest. That is our mission, singularly. Always, when we're planning music, we're making sure that the thread of the vision that that mission statement is clear. And what we try to do here is to have that message at every Mass through everything we say, through the songs, through the prayers, through the sermon. Five years ago, when I arrived at this new assignment at St. Bernadette's, I noticed immediately there were several worship aids in use here. So when I was looking to find something that was more concise and comprehensive, breaking bread, it was the way to go. It comprised it all. Music, daily readings, Sunday reading, large print. It was just better stewardship for this parish and, and our resources. 